All right, what we've got here is, uh, it's actually a type of fungus. It's a mushroom, if you want to call it that. It's, uh, it's quite hard and woody. And this, this part over here, the bottom part, which is much finer and more smooth, as you can see, is the, is the part that usually is away from the sun and the elements and the rain. So it sort of sits this way down, and that's what contains all the spores. So it's like the bottom of a typical mushroom. And then this is the the more woody upper part. So this is generally referred to by the name of bracket or shelf fungus and they tend to be growing on trees or pieces of wood. You'll often find them uh, in fairly arid savanna, uh, moist forest, rainforest. You'll often find them in the damp sort of understory or on branches lying on the ground. They come in lots of shapes and colors. Some of them are quite soft and colorful. The ones that we find in the more arid savannas like here um, tend to be quite hard and woody as we've seen and they tend to grow um, on dead trees but you'll find them on live live wood as well and if you have a look uh, on this big uh, knob thorn tree that we've got here there's one actually growing here at the moment and you can see um, you know how it sticks out like a shell so a very descriptive name like a little bracket you can see the, the woody upper section and then this lower section here which is nice and protected now when you see this on a tree a live tree as, it, as is the case over here um, the tree is actually in peril because over time what these funguses do is that they actually uh, graft into the tree by a very special sort of fibrous root system um, called the Hostorium you can see there's another one down down here in the bottom hole of this the same tree and you can actually see how it's growing um, and coming out but what they do is they actually graft into the tree um, and then release acids uh, into the heartwood so they get right into the center of the trunk and uh, through their various life processes and the release of these acids they dissolve the, the trunk it's something called heart rot in the tree uh, and they actually use those nutrients for their own development and growth and then get moisture and other things from the immediate environment on the side of the tree and the air around it um, and they keep on growing but ultimately what happens is as they d dissolve this sort of heart away from the tree the, in, in a trunk it of course compromises the integrity of the entire structure and the tree a, a big tree like this you can see the massive structure that we've got here if you were to hollow out this entire trunk ultimately when it gets laden with water after heavy rains or when the wind picks up the chances are that this whole tree is going to just collapse and fall over and that typically is what happens and, it, and so it can actually cause beautiful old trees decades or centuries old to to finally collapse all part of a, a process called nutrient cycling so along with termites and other organisms they help to break down nutrients and return them to the soil in the cycle of life